All right, so we're gonna run the Glock 48, see how it runs. I'm expecting it to kind of run like a 19 because it's the same barrel length and that sort of thing, but we'll find out. America! We're going to do a quick rundown on the newest thing. Uh, it's released in January 21st of 2019 along with the Glock 43X. This is a Glock 48. Check out our other video where we compare the 43X, the 48, the 19, and the 43. It's pretty cool. I didn't think it was really worth making a shooting video for the 43. I mean, everybody's seen those things run. The 43X is no different. It just has a little bit longer grip. And as I cover in the video, it fills some neat niches. So with this gun, I was really interested, uh, when I first saw it advertised, I was like, who cares, right? It's a single stack Glock 19. It's all the size of the Glock 19 with none of the benefits. That was my original opinion on it. But then once I got it in and I really thought about it, you know, there's a lot smaller frame people out there. There's a lot of ladies that are just around 100 pounds or, or you know, 110 pounds or even smaller than that. There's a lot of men running around that are 130 to 160, 70 pounds. So... For them, it might make a lot more sense to have a much thinner carry gun. And you kind of approach the capacity. I know a 19 is 15 rounds, uh, but you know, it's a 13 round in a 26, which is a much fatter gun to carry. So this guy here, it kind of fills a box that Glock didn't have before. So I feel like it is a good addition. And also, if you're looking for a more compact gun, it still has that nice grip length on it for a guy with full-size hands. And so, you know, it's a lot more natural than maybe a 43, but it's it's the same length identically to the 19. So if we compare this gun to a Glock 19, and I'm gonna go ahead and show that everything is safe. We're, we're in a store environment, certainly nothing's loaded here, but uh, we're gonna show it anyway. Uh, and, and again, a lot of this is covered in our in our comparison between the 43, the 43X, the 19, the 48, but the slide length is literally identical. Even if you look at the specs on their website, they show a slide length on this gun of 6.85 inches and an overall length of 7.28. Oddly enough, on the 48, the barrel is slightly longer than it is on the Glock 19. The barrel length on the 48 is 4.17 inches versus 4.02 inches on the 19. It's kind of an interesting thing since it is really a, a narrower, smaller gun. But like I said, we cover this thing in depth. The finish is a little different than the 19th, than the 19. Uh, this is the uh, NPVD silver coating. Uh, there is a difference in spring length versus the 19. I'll go ahead and show that as well. Uh, so again, this gun is clear. We are going to pull the trigger so that we can remove the slide. Oh, hung up. Let me pull the trigger again. There it goes. Slide comes off. You will notice that that has the standard spring that we're used to seeing on a Glock 19. Again, this one is clear. I'm going to pull the trigger and then we're going to pull the slide off. This one has a significantly shorter spring and the reason for that is very, very simple. This is a 19 frame. This is a 43 frame. It does take the same spring as the Glock 43, and it actually stops right back here on the back of the barrel. I guess this would be a dust cover. So we put that in there, Oop, if I can get it straight, and it goes into the 43 frame, and that is why the spring is shorter. Uh, all in all, this is a much more concealable gun. I feel like if you're not a big guy or a big girl, if you are a bigger person, it may be easier or, to conceal a 19, but in the case of this, this gun does make a lot of sense, and I was surprised that I was going to say that. It does take the same magazine as a Glock 43X. It does not take the same magazine as a 43 because the 43 is obviously shorter and also uh, this magazine is not like a 17 magazine going into a 26 it does in fact uh, only fit the 48 and the 43x it will not go into a 43 so if you want to buy one of these and you think that you might be concerned about cross compatibility 
I would not, uh, well, I, I was going to say I would not assume, but I'm telling you now, they're not the same magazine. We're going to do a quick what's in the box. That's obligatory, right? Now, one thing to note about this is that the Gen 4 and Gen 5 Glocks do come with three magazines. This gun comes with two. So does the 43X. It does come with the, the little speed loader. Sorry, I had it in the wrong direction. Nope, that is the right direction. It does come with the little speed loader here. I do use those. They're kind of neat. It comes with the lock and, of course, the manual and the box and the little cleaning, uh, uh, cleaning brush there. So, and there should, somewhere in here, there's going to be a cleaning rod, um, and that's what it should come with. Yeah, here's the cleaning rod right there. So, you know, typical Glock guts. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this gun and we're going to take it out and run it and see if we like it. It should perform somewhat like a 19. I mean, it, it does have the same barrel length. We might be, we might experience a little bit more recoil because, you know, with the spring being longer, it may be a little bit more angry uh, than a 19. And also it does have a little bit narrower grip, but if you properly grip your handgun, you should be able to control that pretty well as well. So uh, one other thing that we want to note is we did test holsters. We used a crossbreed. Uh, appendix holster to check this. The 43, the 43X, and the 48 do fit uh, the, the same holster perfectly fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this gun out, we're going to run it. I think we may be one of the first people to actually do a shooting video on the 48X. Uh, this thing again, it releases January the 21st of 2019. Today is slightly before that. Uh, but So what we're going to do, like I said, we're going to run it. Let's go check it out. All right, so let's go ahead and run this Glock 48. I'm excited to see how it shoots. We'll see if it's uh, if it's any different having this shorter recoil spring and that kind of thing. I would like to see if it's uh, if it's pretty close to a 19, like I expect it to be. Obviously, the grip is considerably different. Uh, so if you have larger hands, you you may have a little uh, a little different time holding on to the grip. What I'm using here is just your regular white box Winchester ammo. I've got some Blazer steel in my pocket. I like to kind of use, you know, cheap range ammo because I feel like that's what most people are going to run whenever they're out at the range. And, uh, you know, if you ever watch my videos, I'm kind of a regular shooter. I'm not really a precision marksman type guy. Uh, so it's probably a good indicator of what a normal person shoots like. I'm about seven yards out right now. Uh, that distance is what coincides with the uh, Texas license to carry the mid range. They shoot at three, seven, and 15 yards. So this is kind of a good indicator of what it would be like for a for a gun that somebody's going to use in an LTC course. So let's look and see how it runs. All right, that's our first 10 rounds with the uh, with the Winchester white box. Now we're going to use, we're going to move to the next 10 rounds with uh, the Blazer uh, aluminum cased ammo. All right, so that's that Blazer aluminum case. Let's go take a look at the target and see what we think. So up here is our Winchester white box stuff. Uh, as you can see, I'm gonna try to kind of fix it up there. As you can see, it's uh, you know it's shooting pretty good. Same way down here with our uh, Blazer aluminum case. Looks like our target wants to come off a little bit. I guess I didn't staple that corner. But uh, as you can see, as far as accuracy goes, at that shorter distance or defensive range, uh, this is a this is a good, accurate little gun. 
All right, let's uh, let's move out and shoot some steel here just for fun. All right, so I'm going to go with the middle steel uh, between the the large piece and the and the one on the left there. Got it. Well, that's pretty easy. Let's try the small four inch steel on the top left. Got that one. I don't know if I'm going to be able to hit the two inch underneath. Well, let's go with the six inch uh, right next to it. Spun that one up. Got it again. Oh, that was a miss. All right, we're going to go with the uh, sort of center one there. Got it. Got it again. Got it again. Go with the uh, six incher. Spun it. All right, let's run uh, some of this aluminum case stuff, see if it's any better. I'm gonna aim for the four inch on the top left. Got it. Six inch. This one over, which I totally missed. Center, I guess I'm going high. There it goes. That. Uh, let's let that one piece swing. Got it, spun it again. Four inch. Missed the four inch. Let's go four inch again. How did I miss twice? There it goes. All right, very nice. All right, well, that was pretty fun. So, all in all, uh, it shoots pretty good. All right, so that was a quick little shooting video. Uh, this thing releases, I guess today is about the 20th of January. It's going to release tomorrow. Uh, we're pretty excited about that release. As I said in kind of the, the beginning of the video, I didn't really think that I was going to be all that impressed with these guns. I thought it was kind of a goofy offering from Glock to go to these these 10 round deals, especially something that's a, that's a skinny down Glock 19. But I have to say, it's a fun little gun. I think that it's going to fit a really good niche for people that want a smaller, uh, you know, thinner carry option. It shoots really, really well. Uh, it, it is a little snappier and a little harder to hang on to than a 19. I think that that's a function of both weight and the fact that it's uh, got this shorter recoil spring, doesn't absorb quite as much energy as that longer sliding spring that we're used to shooting on the 19. But all in all, uh, I wouldn't say that it's too much for a new shooter to handle or anything like that. It shoots really well. Uh, the sights are good. I was able to keep everything pretty tight despite uh, missing a few pieces of steel there. But nonetheless, I really feel like that this is a gun that would fit in most collections, even if you own a 19. So I, I have to say, I think I'm a fan. I would go check one out. And, and if you don't have a uh, uh, this size of carry pistol, this might be one you really want to look into. So uh, yeah, go and check out the Glock 48, and uh, we'll catch up with you next time. Hey guys, it's Mr. Guns. Thanks for watching our video. If you thought it was cool, go ahead and like and subscribe. We should have a bunch of cool stuff coming in the future too. Uh, or follow us on Facebook and Instagram if you just want to get good gun deals or see what we got going on. The links will be in the descriptions below. So thanks for watching the video and we hope you'll follow us in the future.